So here are some of the quests, uh, the specs on the Quest 2, Quest 3 and Pico 4. You can pause it here and have a look. Uh, so we move on on the real world testing. It's a bit tricky to capture the actual screen on those headsets, but here's the result I found. Um, maybe it could be personal preference, but I do prefer the color profile on the Quest 2 and Quest 3. I can see the color pops out more on uh, the Quest comparing to the Pico 4. So if you zoom on the tree, you're gonna see pixelated area around the leaves, whereas Pico and Quest 3 are smooth and crisp. The higher resolution on the Quest 3 and Pico 4 does give them a bigger advantage. You can see more details on these headset. With that being said, uh, Pancake lens are no joke. Everything about them is better than the Fresno lens on the Quest 2. Look at No Man's Sky, you can see how well Pancake Lens produce a deeper black, larger field view and better color reproduction. Okay, let's talk about uh, this new Snapdragon XR Gen 2 in Quest 3. Uh, it does give a lot more power to process more graphically demanding tasks. Uh, it allows better shading, better texture, better shadow, better light tracing and transparency. I won't dig into too deep into this new chipset because there's a lot of videos comparing it already. As a standalone headset, we still have to consider the game library. I would say Meta, they have more compatible games, a wider game selection and more native apps. While Pico, some of the apps, they still use the web version. But yeah, you don't really need a good PC to have a good graphical experience. The Quest 3, they just do it all. Not gonna lie, the Quest 3 has the best pass-through color. It's not perfect, you will see from image bending when the object moves nearer to your face. But overall, you can feel the object has more depth and you feel the distance between you and the object. Uh, when you look at the peak hole, everything seems like very close to your face. And um, yeah, it's because it's only construct the image in 2D, it's not like in Devil Field. So I will feel slight motion sickness when I use the Pico 4 pass-through. It's not that bad though, it's just not very good comparing to the Quest 3. Another feature I have to mention is the hand tracking. I know that Pico, they have the hand tracking as a better feature in the setting, you have to enable it through developer mode. Uh, but the hand tracking on the Quest 2 and Quest 3, they are awesome. They are by far the best. The, they are precise, accurate. Uh, Pico got to learn from this. So it, if you combine this with a good pass-through on the Quest 3, it's very fun to use. Uh, one game I have to mention is the Cubism. It illustrates the power of Quest 3. But to be fair, not many VR game and VR app developers utilize hand tracking that much in gaming. Uh, but if there is, the hand tracking is not optimized that well. Regarding the controller, the haptic feedback uh, on the Quest 3 is pretty good. It has good improvement over the Quest 2. I feel stronger rumble when interacting with objects in games. Pico 4 still have the nicest vibration. Very strong feedback and you can actually feel the vibration of the motor shaking inside when you're holding the device. Uh, what is even more interesting is that Quest 2 controller, uh, controller sorry, from my experience has very little issue with tracking. I found that Pico 4 controller sometimes have a problem with tracking if you swinging the hand in fast motion. And the Quest 3 has more dead zone uh, comparing to the Quest 2 and Pico 4 because if I put it at the back, uh, sometimes lose, lose track so I can I can I think in the scenario of you if you playing playing a FPS gaming then if you need to grab some weapon at the back or on the belt then it's gonna have some effect on those action so looking at the quest 3 it has much much slimmer form factor but that that doesn't mean the quest 3 have less weight comparing to the quest 2. Um, I guess it's because of the new pancake lens and the new cooling system. So even though the Pico 4, the total weight is a lot higher than the Quest 2 and Quest 3, 
the battery they put at the back of the headset so on the strap actually and that makes everything is more evenly distributed so the front actually not waiting that much and the provided head strap on the Pico 4 is way more comfortable than the Quest. I can feel the entire weight being lifted off if you use the Pico 4. The Quest 3 strap is a good improvement over the Quest 2. So they have two stripes here instead of one stripe, but to be fair, this one is still the go-to. So if you want to have similar experience to the Pico 4, it's better to buy like one of the Elite strap, which is a bit overpriced. Moving on the Quest support on PC. So these two devices allow us to manually adjust the resolution of the headset while Pico 4 only allow us to choose a default selection from low to ultra preset. And keep in mind if you use Pico for PC VR or some game, they not fully optimized for the Pico controller. So it's a downside for Pico. Um, if you already have a good PC and good internet connection, we can easily solve this issue by using virtual desktop. To be honest, I find myself using the Pico 4 for PC VR more often than the Quest 3. It's more lightweight and more comfortable, even though I prefer the color profile on here, but there's not much a trade-off here. Um, and you, the, the Pico 4 battery lasts a bit longer as well. Uh, I get about 2.5 hours with the Pico 4, while the Quest 3, I only get around 1.5. I don't know why the battery on the Quest 3 is that bad, but it, it could be because of the new pancake lens with a new chipset and maybe it draw more power. On the other hand, Quest 2, best battery performance even in standalone gaming and in PC VR. So um, if you just need something budget and want to experience it, let's to still hold a special place in my recommendation. To sum everything up, if you already have the Quest 2 or you haven't have any, Quest 3 and Pico 4 is a great upgrade uh, in visuals, but not in the battery performance. If you already own the Pico 4 and thinking about upgrading to the Quest 3, it's not a big upgrade because you only benefit from nicer pass-through, nicer hand tracking, and only that. But for PC VR, Pico 4 is still a great device. That is everything. I hope this video helped you. See you in the next video. Bye.